Welcome to another struggling episode of Brain vs. Bedroom Clutter. This time we feed you with 19 inspiring DIY small bedroom decors and decluttering ideas compiled from the Simp Home Research Center. With all the good hope we can offer to you, let's start our journey. Number 19, a cherry wood closet hack with a hidden walk-in. First, cut cherry wood veneered panels for doors using IKEA ones as a template. Next, add cherry banding to cover exposed edges. Drill holes for hinges, panel the sides of PAX modules, and create a corridor with extra storage panels. Glue cherry veneer to hide gaps, then finish with shellac for a stunning color. Pro tips, match pattern doors, choose panels carefully, and beware of cherry wood darkening when exposed to light. Number 18, Acrylic Chic, a DIY wall shelving idea with a modern twist. Mark drill holes on the acrylic sheet's protective paper for brackets. Place brackets based on wall studs or on each end for window installation. Spray paint brackets and screws with gold for glamour, then gradually drill holes with increasing bit sizes, avoiding drilling all through and do it slowly to prevent cracking. Remove the protective cover and attach brackets with screws. 17. Unleash your creativity with modern pegboard shelving from HDTV and Remodelista. Mark holes on the plywood board using the pegboard as a guide, then drill holes into the plywood board at a 90 degree angle. Cut dowels to 3.75 inches long and hang the board on your wall. Arrange dowels for hanging items and create shelves by placing two dowels in a row. 16. And it's time for Remodelista. The manual is technically the same and here is some wisdom you can take. Place scrap plywood under the baseboard to avoid workable damage, then drill holes with an 11 16 inch bit for a tighter peg fit. Avoid splitting the plywood by drilling just until the bit pokes through and complete drilling from the back of the board. 15. A DIY shoe shelf idea that can save you 370 euros. Take the idea and make your guest assume you bought it from norgavel.com. First, measure and cut the round rods to your desired length. In this project, 100 centimeters and 80 centimeters. Lay the rods on the floor and glue the brackets on top to ensure a straight and level surface. Once the glue is dry, carefully flip the shelves and drill small holes for screws to prevent cracking. Lastly, apply two coats of transparent hard wax oil to enhance durability. 14. Shima, a customizable plywood furniture island from NM Studio Architects. The concept comes with 30 centimeters high and hollow floors to provide storage while the perforated walls act as pegboards for hanging shelves and hooks. The design uses curtains for privacy and a recessed U-shaped compartment to work as a wardrobe and a small desk. The cushions on the edges double as seating, the mattress is convertible into a low bed, and the innovation invited a challenger from Australia. 13. A Chris Warns 22 M2 Room with a Building Storage Concept to Inspire You From Architect Preneus, the concept features a custom platform bed. The bed sits on a platform with pull-out drawers underneath, providing additional storage for bedding and pillows. Hidden storage steps with a vertical-style hidden compartment for a small suitcase or folded shirts, shorts, or shoes. And lastly, a floating cabinet. When not in use, it camouflages the wall and when open a foldable ironing board is ready to help your laundry routine what else could you ask for 12 a diy headboard construction idea with hidden storage to start assemble the column backs sides shelves and faces then create a mirrored column for the second side cut mdf to size for column fronts and headboard to fit your bed and design a classic panel pattern using styles and rails attach the top piece or add mitered molding for extra flare and finish headboard to your liking 11. A Stackable Cabinet Project Idea from DK Craft The project starts with a SketchUp plan and it gives you rounded edges to allow you to buy any hinges and to make a new improvement, for example, by embedding small magnets for secure closure. 
The stacking concept is a genius, and you can consider adding steel or UPVC piping to the sockets. To prevent hinge grinding and ensure durability, when trimming, use a jigsaw to remove 2-3 to three millimeters before using a pattern blade. The trick reduces strain on the blades and will make the task easier on your wrists. 10. The L-shaped pallet bed idea and the floating one. The L-shaped pallet. Start by sanding each pallet for a smoother surface. Arrange four pallets on the floor to form a rectangle and stack four more on top. Secure the pallets if needed. 9. The Floating Project Achieve the illusion of a wider bedroom with a floating bed and LED support section. Build two frames using solid wood, one for support and another for the mattress. Connect the pieces using wood glue and screws. Fit the slatted base and customize it with paint. 8. A DIY console table with wheels. First, you'll need oak stair treads for the legs, 1x6 oak boards for the top panels, and caster wheels for mobility. Sand the wood pieces, attach the 1x6 boards to form the top and let them dry. Apply primer and gold spray paint to the hardware. Cut the stair treads, attach caster wheels, secure the wheeled legs to the top using gold painted brackets, and fasten the face frame with 1x4s. 7. A DIY floating dressing table upgrade with MDF and LED. Cut MDF plates to the desired size. Shape the backside with a curved corner while keeping the opposite corner sharp. Then drill holes for electrical wiring. Construct the shelf piece and tabletop using wood glue and screws. Mount the dressing table in a corner near a power source for LED lights. Finally, add a mirror, accessory holders, and chest drawers for extra storage and your your favorite paint when necessary. 6. A DIY sliding closet doors idea. Measure your door dimensions, allowing for a 2-inch overlap for bypassing doors, then build sturdy frames using 1.5-inch corner braces and a middle wood brace for added strength. Attach slats with perfect alignment using a spacer for guidance and apply two coats of water-based urethane for wood protection. Install ball-bearing hangers, guides, and catchers for smooth sliding. And finally, install a half-inch by 3.5-inch trim along the ceiling opening to hide the metal tracks and conceal metal tracks with trim for a polished look. 5. A DIY sliding pants rack and save at least $60 for the commercial version. Create space measuring approximately 30 inches by 18 inches for the sliders. Then cut 9 16-inch dowels, sand them for smoothness, and tape them together with equal spacing. Assemble the frame using finishing nails, pilot holes, and screws, ensuring stability, and later attach rails to the frame with screws, adjusting the height as desired. Finally, install the sliding pants rack onto your wardrobe. 4. A DIY Murphy Bed with Dream Baby Window Safety Lock To start, attach cabinet securely to the wall, construct a timber bed frame, and connect it to the cabinet floor with solid hinges. Ensure the cabinet's bottom aligns with the bed feet height and add support beams for stability. Then, mount hinges and a magnet to the bed feet for easy positioning. Enhance safety with Dream Baby Window Locks. Secure linens with a strap and paint when necessary. 3. The Merry Thought Floating Nightstand Idea Pick a 1x8 pine board for the top panel and cut it to your desired size. Cut a 5 4 by 6 board to the size of the top panel to support the wall. Create a smartphone slot about an inch from the top panel's edge. Drill holes nearby for cords and glue the top panel to the vertical support forming a sturdy 90-degree angle. Allow it to dry, sand it smooth, apply your chosen stain or color, and mount the wall. Related to the mounting, number two, a pro-level tips on how to install a floating shelf. Scan for hidden pipes and wires using a stud finder. Mark wooden studs and hollow walls for support. Determine shelf placement, mark the bracket line, and tape wall plugs depth before drilling. Use a hammer drill for solid walls. Last, tighten screws after brackets, level the shelf, slide the shelf onto prongs, and secure screws to prevent sliding. Lastly, number one, a complete IKEA bedroom hack with a room divider from Shabby. It yourself. 
The project requires Medtod kitchen wall units 60 centimeters and 80 centimeters for a 2 meter length and upper cabinets 40 centimeters height. Attach white laminated cupboards and add drawers. Build a sturdy bed frame with glued squared timber beams and support it with a central beam and furniture feet. Craft a stylish headboard using the ring halt kitchen door. Complete the base with oak wood panels and finish with Osmo's top oil for a whitewashed effect. Well, that's it for now. Before you leave this presentation, we'd like to appreciate every second you spend watching this video. If we deserve more of your attention in the future, press the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Like the video if you believe it'll motivate the YouTube algorithm to push the video to more people. Honestly, though, it is more like a myth to us, so feel free to move on with your plan after the video ends. Lastly, we hope you have great luck with your health and project, and we'll see you again soon.